all great Americans out there and all the people around the world. Shut up. Are you serious? 77 seconds before you even open your fucking mouth. And what do we get in that 77 seconds? A close-up of your fucking face, which is not good from a distance, so why it would be better? I mean, you can see less of it. And then you lean back and then pick up a copy of the Holy Bible, King James, I assume, and hold it up like we haven't seen a copy of the most fucking widely spread, most published, and the book that is owned by more people around the planet in the world ever. That is the, that introduction is the worst intro to any video, play, film, radio show, documentary, mime performance, magic show, street theater, anything that has ever been made that required an introduction in the history of mankind has never, ever been as shit and pointless and so up its own ass. That, that, that introduction was so up its own ass, if it was a person it would be Fred Durst. And it tells me all I need to know about you before you even fucking start talking. Atheist, pick bull and choose nothing. What kind of fucking title is that? Your, your page originally said that you were illiterate, and now we're told that's a joke. Oh, okay, so you're not illiterate, you're just fucking thick. You're just another addition to the pile of mentally malnourished, educationally subpar, intellectually underdeveloped, cerebrally fucking incapable, mindless bullshit merchants, who's decided that he doesn't need an education. He doesn't need to learn anything. He can figure it all out for himself. Because he's read a book. And I don't give a fuck whether you're illiterate or not. That's not the main issue I have with you. Meeting a fucking a creationist who cannot spe spell or use grammar or cannot even put a co coherent sentence together is about as difficult as putting on a pair of trousers. A pair of trousers that have been glued onto you. But now I know... Nick, what you're thinking? Oh look, another one of those nasty, you know, foul-mouthed, uh, atheist fucking heathen scum, a limey as well, a, from a fucking dirty little socialist fucking country. You, me you mentioned in one video that our health service is fucking completely and utterly fucked, co and yours is great. No. Your country spends twice as much money a year on healthcare as mine does. And if your healthcare system is that great, please tell me why it is that the average, statistically, you are more likely, you are likely to die four years before the average British person. But I'm going to sit here, I'm not just going to sit here and abuse you, Nick. I'm not going to sit here and call you names. I'm not even going to sit here and try and talk to you as if you have any interest in listening to what I've got to say. Because you don't, Nick. But don't worry, that makes you pretty much the same as every other fucking fundy prick who's ever been on this website. You see, I'm done with debating. I'm done with trying to engage religious people on, the, on this website. And in general, I'm sick of it. Because I'm sick of being asked questions by people who don't give a shit what the answer is. I'm sick of being asked questions by people who receive my answer then proceed to ignore it. Why? Because they've already decided that it doesn't matter what I say. Why would you trust what I say? I'm an immoral, disgusting, evil, perverted, sinful piece of shit. I've got no moral standards. And unlike most atheists who will turn around and say, no, I do have a moral standard, it's just mine is subject. No, I've got no moral standards. I am your worst nightmare, Nick. I am everything that you fucking despise. Liberal, atheist, foul-mouthed, porno-collecting, chain-smoking, abortion-promoting, gay marriage-encouraging,
homo mafia fucking illegal immigration supporting sicko. Now you can deal with that now because there's nothing you can fucking do about it. Uh, do you know what the most interesting thing is? You start your video like this. Do you know why this is? Do you know why you do this? Because you are trying to very, very unsubtly project onto us that you're in our face. You're in our face. Do you know what the most interesting thing about all your videos, Nick? It's the poster behind you on the door. You've got a poster from the film 300 of Gerard Butler as King Leonidas with the, with the line, Tonight we dine in hell. And that's how you see yourself. That's why you, you, you sit in front of this poster and you think that it, it, it kind of sits there and it frames your, frames your head. But it's a poster. It's a poster of a film. And that's, but that is how you see yourself. You've come on here thinking that you are going to do something groundbreaking. You are going to defy the odds. You know that in terms of the most, the outspoken people involved in debating or, or discussing religion on YouTube, you know that atheists own you in terms of numbers. You know that you have very little support. You know that you can, you as a Christian, as a creationist, will be subject to unrelenting torrents of mockery, ridicule, abuse, contempt, and downright fucking disgust. And you've come here thinking you're going to do something different. You're not going to be like all the other Christians. You're not going to sit there and love thy enemy. You're not going to act as if Christ would. You even said yourself, Jesus Christ himself wouldn't be able to keep his patience. It doesn't say much for the Son of God, does it, that he can be wound up by a bunch of people who don't believe in, believe in him, does it? Yeah. Yesterday I turned 30 years old. And I don't give a fuck how low I am in your, in your opinion. I don't give a fuck how disgusting and how vile I am as a human being in your eyes. And I don't give a fuck if you want to try and go on about fucking monkeys. I actually started, I actually have invented a drinking game based on your video Atheist to Monkeys. Every time you say the words fucking monkeys, you take a drink. Right. Four minutes into the video, I ended up in hospital. Don't throw your fucking creationist bullshit at me, sunshine. You know, you can get this out, you get this in your head. You know, most atheists are not atheists because of evolution. Do you know why I'm an atheist? Because of people like you, Nick. Do you not look at yourself when you make your videos? Do you not stop and look at yourself and go, yeah. are you a good example? Yeah. Would other people watch you? Would people watch your videos and see this babbling, incoherent, uneducated, foul-mouthed, aggressive, rude, abusive little shit and think, hey, Christianity is the way for me. No. Because I can be an abusive, rude, arrogant little shit without God, thank you. And at least I'm not a hypocrite when I do it. I hate to break this to you, Nick. You've got it all wrong. You're nothing special. And I don't just mean in the grand scheme of things. No, I mean on YouTube. YouTube has been around for a very short period of time, but in that time, there have been hundreds hundreds of people just like you they've come they've gone some still remain some were banned some were forced to leave you are never Nick never going to be what you want yourself what you want to be you're not gonna be that Spartan warrior taking on the massive hordes the atheist Persian army you're not going to you know, take us on in a triumphant battle of glory. You're not going to give us something, give us a, a war, and give us a fight, and give us a, bat a battle that we cannot handle. Nothing you say, Nick, nothing you have said, nothing you ever will say in any videos on here regarding these issues is anything 
we haven't heard before. Nothing you do will have any fucking effect. Nothing you ever have ever planned on doing, Nick. Not one thing that you believe in your mind. You're go you're going to do. It, you're going to try and achieve. Is going to happen. You will do what every single person like you has done on YouTube, and that is fail. You will not achieve anything. You will do nothing but become training poem. You'll become a comical figure. You'll become an executive stress doll that people like me can pick up with and use when we've got nothing better to do. Why would I want to do with my life something that could create in you what is manifesting in your videos? What advert do you honestly think you are for your religion? You see, I've never said this before, Nick. It's something I'm very, very uh, serious about, and I don't. But I don't mention it. But I'm going to. I'm going to let you in on it. Do you know what the biggest? Do you know what the? Do you know what the only? The only argument that any uh, religious person like yourself puts forward that matters to anyone? It's you. It's not your. It's not. It's not the arguments from design or the apologetics or the attempting to prove the Bible right here or attempting to convince me that you know what you believe is the more you know meaningful and is the more valuable and a much more dignified and you know humbling way to live my life. No, nothing, no argument. Be it based on logic, be it based on conjecture, speculation, opinion, or pseudoscientific bullshit. Nothing you say matters more than who you are. And I've yet to see anything in you that I feel that I'm lacking, other than possibly that extra chromosome. You see Nick, what you don't realize is YouTube isn't a mirror of society. YouTube is a bizarre phenomenon separated from real life. But in real life, Nick, you're the Persian army and we are the heavily outnumbered Spartan soldiers. And we've gathered here to fight and stand our ground and you show up and your numbers count for nothing so take your take your obsession with monkeys and take every single thing that you are trying to do take your whole fucking take take all those fucking all those images in your head of poning and destroying and fucking refuting and embarrassing atheists and stick them in the only place they can be they can be of any use which is up your fucking ass a place that produces a little less shit than what comes out of your mouth you've got three choices now Nick you can ignore me you can respond with the same big bollocked hairy spermed fucking ejaculatory bravado like you're the fucking ultimate warrior or you can actually attempt to fucking talk like a human being try and be a civilized person and try to learn something before you fucking die at least give God the courtesy of letting him know you used some of your organs before they stopped working you fucking twat. Richard the Dick Coffin, 66. Good night, mate. God be less. This is my brain, and it's fine. It's where I spend the vast majority of my time. It's not perfect, but it's mine.
It's not perfect, but it's not.